training to carry firearms in their schools. It's a controversial subject in state legislatures and in classrooms across the country. CBS's Nikki Batiste reports. This is the point of view of an elementary school principal firing at a mock gunman during a simulated school shooting. You realize that yep. this guy, you didn't see him before. He's one of more than a thousand educators from 12 states to take this three-day firearms course in rural Ohio. Hitting these targets, he says, is preparation for protecting his students. Now when I walk down the halls, I actually think about where would I go, how would I react. Most here asked us to protect their identities, including this middle school teacher. She keeps her loaded 9 millimeter handgun holstered during class. Do you have the mindset to actually shoot a shooter, and what if it's one of your students? Yes, you have to know the important thing is to eliminate the threat and do that at all costs. And again, the training is free, funded by a pro-gun group and donations after the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School, and it's not sitting well with some. Never in a million years would I have guessed that a res one response to what happened in our town would be to arm teachers. It's absurd. While laws in most states prohibit arming teachers, many have a loophole that can allow it. During this training, I saw one person, not you, shoot what would have been a student in a scenario. When you see that, does it make you second guess this choice to have guns in schools? No. It's one of those things that it's an accident. We might take one, but we might have saved 30, 40 other kids. Some participants here say they inform parents that they're armed in the classroom. Some, but not all. Nikki Batiste for CBS News, West Union, Ohio.